Welcome to another episode of what I learned from Bobby Hammett. And because of the glorious YouTube, if you're not stuck in a rut of just um, like only watching one thing or something, you might, you could discover some real gems up in here. And uh, you could learn a lot on YouTube. Well, you used to be able to learn a lot. Anyway, I came across this video talking about Kanye, and I'm going to tell you something. I already listened to it, so I don't have the reaction of when I first listened to it. But I want to share it with you because the ish is hilarious. It's hilarious, but it is is profound. It's true. It's a comedian named Charleston White. He should have a million views on this. Because it is funny, and you know what? It lines up exactly with what Bobby Hammond has said. The black person in America is a a bred person over generational time and it's like no other melanated person you're like a composite first of all you don't know your tribe and whatever tribes were in America they are mixed up like other people can go Let's say on the on the motherland, they can find people that look like them. Y'all look like each other. I mean, you as a black person know when you look like you're, you know, um, you know the features of other black people, like the 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 African people. Their lineage is. Their gene pool is less mixed than the so-called African-American. They can look like each other tribally because they've stayed in one place in general. We have been mixed up. So our tribes are mixed up. I can't find somebody that even looks like me. I think you know what I mean if you're... If you're a black person, if you're a black American. Um, anyway, Bobby Hemmett said that the black American is a new breed of person because of the mixture of the indigenous tribes in the Americas, which is, you know, their native homeland, but also whatever admixture of whomever they might have brought over. And I'm saying might have brought over to mix you up again. And the mixture of the hybrid person possibly being in your bloodline, actually. Even if it was your grandmother. You don't even know. I don't even know. Yes, there's light-skinned black people. But from the torture, rape, you know, all kinds of effery and abuse that happened to the indigenous people taking over their land, you know, over a couple hundred years, you know, introducing some other people to intermarry, to take over your land, take over your name, and make you a caste system that's now black. And then you got this, you know, Asiatic person representing Indian when the word Indian comes from the word indigo, which means blue-black. And black is supreme. Black is the 
the strongest color that we're talking about. Now, blue is talking about the chakra. The 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 light of like blue purplish is the highest chakra level. It's your crown chakra color. Put that card on the table. This guy is on point with Bobby Hemet talking about the N I G G A person. I never say that word. You know, I'm not, that's not how I talk or anything. And I would never use that word. Um, but I'm spelling it out because I don't even want to say it. But the origin of that word actually is honorable and pays homage to you. Because it's Naga. N-A-J-A. In the Asian culture, which is really a black culture, the origin is black. Naga, there's a god, Naga, and there's a reference to Naga people, and it means snake people. Snake is referring to your backbone because it has the same structure, and it's just the snake symbolizes your melanin power. And then they came up with this other name. I don't know where this name came from, Kundalini. I think that's a um that's a beast cover up new age name. Kundalini. But anyway, I have shared some facts. Uh preliminary facts. Let's listen to this wonderful, intelligent, smart comedian. But this is what I want to tell you, Kanye with. Fuck them Jews. And fuck that nicey, that, that them nice. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Come See, to the ghetto, this baby. I will bleep out. Find you one. I will bleep out. Um, well, what I probably do is... I don't have a way to bleep out stuff. I don't know how people bleep stuff. I I don't. Ha I'm not using any complicated kind of. Um, I'm not a com on a computer or something. Um, I don't know how to. I don't. The thing I'm using does not have sound effects. So. I'll just edit what he said out. Them warehouse that them niggas be throwing them parties in and turn it into a nigga shoe making sweatshop. Find you some of them high school He's dropout so motherfuckers or some of them weed smoking middle school motherfuckers that skipping school. Sometimes people are so funny I can't even laugh. Really, I can't. I can't laugh. The, this guy is a genius. He's funny though. He's funny. And, and going to in school suspension and them alternative schools. He's right and you about get them high school shit. dropout motherfuckers and you put them in one of them in one of them nigga tennis shoe making sweat shop and let them little niggas make nigga Yeezys. Fuck Adidas Yeezys. We bring in nigga Yeezys. I don't Yeezys. even know about Kanye shoes. shoes. So, nigga, you go get your Yeezy is tennis. a very we, this, this, these all stupid shoes. name to me. Fuck Michael Jordan. We need some Muhammad Ali sneakers. We need some Rosa Park sneakers. We need some Mega Ever sneakers. We need some, uh, uh, what's that little boy name that was in the backseat of that Caprice? Rosa Park is the that agent, man. That DC sniping motherfucker. What was it, John Mohammed and Lee Malvo? We need some DC sniper sneakers. Character. Yeah, yeah, we need some, we need some limited edition DC sniper ones. We need the John Mohammeds and the Lee Malvo's, whatever that goddamn boy name is. We need some Gavin Long, the nigga that killed the police. We need some Gavin Long tennis shoes. We need some Makai Johnson tennis shoes. This is all for entertainment shoes. purposes. What else? We need, we need some we need Ali threes. We need them Muhammad Ali threes. Fuck them Michael Jordan twelve, nigga. Fuck them Jordan twelve. Yeah, what you say? Yeah, you we need toe. we need some of them Dacian step toe sneakers. Yeah, yeah. Now nah, we need nigga sneakers. I don't know who that is. Yeah, we need them. We need them Richard Pryor tennis shoes. We need some Richard Pryor sneakers. Yeah, mm -hmm. now nah, fuck Michael Jordan. Fuck Nike. Fuck a That's what I'm saying. F Jordan. How Yeezy, they promoting the hell out of him? I'm telling you, Kanye, the motherfucker go sell like a motherfucker. Do like the Chinese person do. Go get them young niggas that McDonald's, Taco Bell, Kentucky Fried Chicken, uh, and all the burger joints won't 
higher. Get all the young niggas that's stealing out the store, that all the convenience stores said, no more than two students in this store and leave your backpacks outside. <laughs> you gonna get them niggas that like to take them backpacks in them stores and steal, put them niggas in that motherfucking these warehouse where it's hot, and make them young niggas able to get, you know, like the child, you know, we gonna violate child labor law. But can't nobody tell us what to do with our nigga baby. If his mama say his little dumb ass can come over here and work at nine years old, Fuck that. He ain't got to go to public school. We're going to put him out of public school. This little motherfucker going to make nigga Yeezy sneakers and take some money home. Learning how to read and write don't help his poor ass nigga mama. But if we put some money in his goddamn pocket, it'll help that bitch. Help her get off that white boy food stuff and shit. So we trying to help hold or, or help bitches, help these poor, dumb, stupid ass niggas that can't read and write, but they can steal, they can run fast, they can fight. And we're going to show these motherfuckers how to make tennis shoes. Niggas buy too many motherfucking tennis shoes, but we ain't got our own tennis shoe making factory in this country, nigga. Fuck wrong with you, nigga. I got all the ideas my head for the nigga nation. Now, I ain't got nothing for black folks. I ain't got no ideas to build no black race. It ain't no That's exactly what Bobby Limit no said. to unify black people in America. It ain't no unification. It, yeah. All my ideas is for the birth of a new nation called niggas. The seed of the nigga. We ain't no African babies. We ain't pan African. That's true, though. We ain't no motherfucking That's Hebrew. true. We ain't no Jew. We the seeds of a nigga slave. This is exactly what Bobby Hammond said. You're a new breed of person. You're an admixture. You got the white man's thinking. You got the ancient Egyptian that's, that's dormant inside of you. Um which is the science of the universe and the origin of the planet, which you are all of that embodied in your DNA. And um, you are the indigenous person of the Americas. And um, everybody else is different than you. You know, you're at the height of all of that because... Your America, it was a, uh, is an experiment. Like they could keep the whole world on lockdown, but they needed to invent capitalism. So most of the world's just ignorant as hell. And I'm not talking about mathematics. I'm not talking about, you know, pseudoscience, you know, this fake science of, you know, uh, you know, we went to the moon and uh, the sun makes the seasons. Um, there's a, there's other energies that make the seasons. But anyway, I'm not talking about that level. I'm talking about, I'm saying the uh, most other people are ignorant, especially other melanated people, because they haven't lived with the beast to know who the buff effing beast is. They're brainwashed by what they see on TV. And they're also stuck in culture and tradition. But in America, you could think anything, be anything, believe anything. Your mind is open to any idea. You don't have to do A, B, C, D. You can do anything, be anything, name yourself anything. You don't even know who you are. But in a way, that's a good thing because your mind is open to new ideas and you can catch on quickly to something new as well as you do have potential to have money and the access and convenience of a lifestyle that makes you different than the other people. So anyway, let's get back to the comedian here, which is the... Truth jester. Seeds of a nigga slave. That's it. We don't want to be nothing there. Fuck you talking about nigga. I don't want to be no nigga from no language I can't even read. I can't read shit in Hebrew. The niggas couldn't read or write. I'd rather be like them. Nigga, I don't want to have to read nothing no more. You know I'm what? Just a I should... emoji me. Yeah, nigga, yeah. You can't give me no Hebrew emoji, so fuck you. Nigga, yeah, emo You know what? I'm going to break this up into two parts so that it's, it's easier. And actually, I should be 
I need to make myself sleep. The phone woke me up. And then now, you know. It's just me and YouTube. But anyway, I'm going to make this into a part two. Because it talks about the Hebrew Israelites. And I, I want to make a video about that. Because black people need to wake up from that farce. I mean, you know, you know, when you're on the Bobby Hammett frequency, you just become an observer. You're like, how could people believe in this sh ish, this BS of a God up in the sky, and then you're getting judged, and, and you, you know, uh, because of your sins, that's how, that's why black people are oppressed and and you know beat down and killed and all this stuff because God's letting that happen and then one day this magical Jesus is going to come and take everything away even though you've been asking him to come you know since slavery anyway it's all it's you know I propose the question how but the truth of the matter is it is by using the science of the universe, using the law of attraction, owning all media, having ownership of the fake Bible, that just any any of the real science of nature, no one knows and they don't believe in it. They don't even believe a damn herb can heal you because they don't know the science of it. They don't even want to try a damn herb that could heal you. I mean, because of because of the law of attraction and because of the rituals that they do to have this world on lockdown, the minds locked down, people are S T U P I D. They won't even try to think or open their mind. So, but anyway, that ends another episode of what I learned from Bobby Hibbert. We'll make a part two for the Israelites. All of this is unscripted. I'm just trying to share. Um, but that Israelite thing is like, it's, I'm sorry, it's a comedy. They got all, you know what? It, it, let me stop. I'm not going to say anything. I have to make another video for it. It is one of the, one of the most dumb. It's another level of dumbness of religion, really. I mean, oh. anyway, all thanks to Bobby Hibbett. May you increase in consciousness at on whatever level you are at. Excuse my voice. I've had a major cold for two weeks, and it's still in my throat and my nose. So, all thanks to Bobby Hibbett. Thank you, Bobby Hibbett.